you might be wondering, where are you in New York City with all those steps? You can see right behind me, there we go. We're at the Philadelphia, the Philadelphia Art Museum. Now, this is special for a number of reasons. They actually have lots of collections of artwork, but one of the most famous movies in the world, his whole life was a million to one shot. Rocky was filmed right at these steps. One of the most interesting facts about Rocky, about how Stallone built his entire empire, is that when Sylvester Stallone was at his lowest, when he had no money, he was selling his jewelry, he broke up with his girlfriend, he decided he had enough money to either feed himself or feed his dog. He decides he's gonna sell his dog to save the dog's life, and he sells it to a guy at a liquor store downtown for like 50 bucks. After he writes the script for Rocky, it gets purchased, and so Stallone has like a little bit of money, he goes back down to that liquor store, and he waits day in and day out until he sees the guy walking with the dog. He tells the guy, I have money now, I wanna buy my dog back, and the guy says he's become too attached and he can't sell it. They end up negotiating, and Stallone buys the dog back for $1,000, and also offers the guy a cameo role in the first Rocky. Now the cameo role is really small, I think it actually occurs in the end of the first Rocky where Rocky's trying to get to Adrian, that big, big crowd of people, he's one of the extras. The cherry on top of the story though, is that if you've ever seen Rocky 1, he has this dog named Buckus, right? Hey, Buckus! Buckus! That's Rocky's dog, that's the real dog that he had to buy back with the money that he got for writing Rocky. I think it's like an incredible story, and I think it's either overlooked or people just don't even know that it happens, but that dog is actually not any dog, it's his dog. Yeah, so my uh, channel's not really about movies, but I'm here with my brother. He's right here. I'm right here. That's him. Mandy Fraker on YouTube, and his real name's Michael Cotter. And we're making a video for his channel about Rocky. He makes videos about like obscure movie facts uh, and like obscure things that happen in movies that you never knew when you were watching it, right? Safe to say? Safe to say. You got like an elevator speech for your channel? I got now. Hey guys, Mandy Fraker <laughs> here coming at you again to talk about movies. There you go, that's his intro. But we're here filming his shots outside the uh, Philadelphia Art Museum where Rocky runs up in this like iconic shot and his statue's at the top. Unfortunately, his statue is no longer there. It's off to the side, but Philadelphia still kept it. Do you have any idea why they moved it? I don't know. They put it like somewhere else for a while and then they said, hey, let's move it again. And it's really funny that this entire city's like pride is based around an imaginary guy, a fictitious That's character. That's true, right. <laughs> Here we are at the Italian market in Philly. Michael, why are we here? Huh? We're here to kind of film about Rocky. This is the uh, market he runs through when he's training in a lot of the Rocky movies. And what's significant is if you saw, it was a Rocky one where the guy throws him the apple. Right, he's running down the street here in Philly. They didn't have permits, they didn't have any plans to do this, so the people are generally like surprised when this guy is running down the street and there's a cameraman filming him run down the street. In the scene, a guy throws him the apple. That's just like a regular guy who's at the fruit cart who throws Rocky an apple. He had no idea he'd be in the movie. He had no idea that'd be like an iconic shot. It just all kind of came together when they came down here, Philly, in the uh, late 1970s. All right, uh, some true Philadelphian, if that's what you call people who live here, said that if we wanted to go to the best bakery in Philadelphia, we're going to it. Egros or is looking at it right now. Isgros. We're gonna check it out. Get a donut. I don't know. Something horrible. But this I don't is know why to be... it's called Isgros. Doesn't sound like an Italian name, but we'll see. <laughs> Does not. We're gonna check out what they got. Hopefully, it's worth it. Well, a cannoli was like soft or something. This is the first time you've had a cannoli. It's the first time I've had a cannoli, and it's the best one I've ever had. Hey. Oh, see if that makes sense. All right, what do we got here? Oh my god. We got like a sort of cookies here, donuts. I have and a little assortment. I don't know if you can, probably can't see that. Not at all here. It's all right though. Pretty good. What did this cost? Like 10 bucks? It was like eight or nine dollars and they ain't Oreos, that's for sure. Yeah, they're good. That's it, we have nothing but traffic here. So uh, that was my adventure, but as always, if you wanna stay up to date on the latest videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm about to sit in a little bit more traffic.